Welcome back to the Afternoon Drive here on 106.3 The Eagle. I am your host, Justin Villarino. That was Love by Tory Lanes, And we are in the studio, in the booth, in the building uh, with Mr. Clark Hill. How you doing? Another day, man. I hear you. All right, so got a couple more questions for you that everybody wants to know. Where are you from? Man, I'm from a little tiny town in Florida. Uh, it's uh, it's called Stark. It's in between Gainesville and Jacksonville. So um, I live about eight miles from a joint training facility, about 40 miles from uh, NES Jacks, which is a pretty big naval station. So. so the big question that is on everybody's mind right now, or at least mine, Knowles, Canes, or Gators? Gators all the way, man. I didn't know there was Knowles or Canes. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I hear that. All right, so what were you like growing up? Oh man, I was a punk, just like I am now, I guess. You know, <laughs> like I, uh, man, I was, uh, I had a unique lifestyle. My dad was, uh, you know, a, a professional football player for a little while, and uh, kind of old school. Taught martial arts for about 17 years. Uh, ended up in Department of Corrections, which is prison system in Florida. Working as an investigator by the time I was a kid, you know, so he retired from there. Uh, so I kind of had a pretty paramilitary lifestyle, honestly. Uh, dad was pretty hardcore, so I grew up more like an adult, man. So uh, as a kid, it was football, football, church, and uh, and and kind of work per se. So I uh, just started out like that and uh, and moved into um, getting out of sports. Uh, got myself in a little bit of trouble when I was a teenager, so I had to kind of grow out of that. And then you know here we are. I'm 30 years old now. I made it this far. So yeah, I think uh, all of us boys, we all go through that little phase where it's uh we got a rough patch in our teenage years. Yeah. We're trying to figure out if we want to be a man or we want to be a knucklehead. Yeah, that's right. So I can definitely uh, sympathize with you on that and definitely feel you on that. Thank you, man. What is it that actually got you started in doing music, though? Um, I mean, I've played music pretty much on and off my whole life, but just kind of fiddled with it and played around. And uh, about about four years ago now, I uh, went through a rough patch with my, my wife. And, uh, you know, you can't make this stuff up even in a movie. You know, like I literally on my birthday – you know wisdom tooth cut out like and anesthesia didn't work and then my wife leaves me you know so i uh sitting around being a big cry baby and my brother-in-law who is a uh, what you call like a cover band musician you know played in bars uh mm -hmm. come and got me out of the house like hey man you need to get out of the house you know you can't sit here and i uh, went out that night played some music for the first time in years and then i i caught the fever and then being the the crazy guy that i am i just took it to a new level and just started kind of pounding the ground man and kicking indoors and trying to see what i could do well i yeah that does sound like a movie so if uh there are any movie producers that are going to listen to this interview yeah. mr clark hill wants a he hey, wants a movie done about hey, it hey we're actually already uh we've been filming a reality tv show actually so um there, there, there'll be you'll probably here in the next year or so you'll hear a little bit more about my life and a book will come out and uh it, it's pretty unique man it's a, it's a big blessing to show where i came from it's funny because my life isn't the typical like bad life bad life bad life and then success it was more or less like everything was clean and almost perfect and tidy mm -hmm. and you have a really bad decision you face some s severe consequences and then you have a choice to make do you sulk and cry about it and live in the shadows or do you be a man and uh and come out fighting and i came out fighting and here i am well if they ever do do a movie about you i mean i can i can try and grow a beard and, yeah. and i could dye my hair uh, right. maybe i could i could be you in the movie oh come on bro I, i'm down for it all right I mean, right. can you run? Can you catch, though? Yeah. Like, I know you said you play football, but you got to be on my level, so. Uh, you know what? See, now you, those, those are some fighting <laughs> words right there, and I can't really talk about that on the air. Uh, who was your favorite musician of all time? Oh, man, that's a hard one, but I, it, you know, since a matter of time, I'm probably going to actually go with, uh, I'm going to give you three, okay? Leonard Skinner, just love the band. I uh, grew up in that area, so the, the feeling and the heart that came out of their music. Uh, entertainer, Garth Brooks. You know, nobody entertains like Garth Brooks, and I'm all about entertainment. Um, maybe put Elvis Presley in that same you know area. I'm a big Elvis Presley fan, uh, but my true third one would probably be Vince Gill, the best voice there ever is, man. And uh, you know I, I can't sing like that, but I love listening to him. Okay, all right. Uh, being in the spotlight all the time that you are now, uh, what are some of the things that that you do to to keep yourself grounded um, and kind of just unwind and have some me time? Like, yeah. I mean, the first part of that question, keeping myself grounded, I, I mean, I don't feel like I can speak on that because I can't tell you that I am grounded. I, I mean, I always, I always joke about that I have a false sense of humility. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm constantly trying to prove to myself that I'm humble. Mm -hmm. The reality is I'm not, man. Like, I dream of being the biggest name in music, 
Uh, and that dream is a really uh, controversial one, though, because you have to carry yourself a very specific way. Mm -hmm. uh, don't take no for an answer. I don't settle. I don't care. Like, if I've got to pack the van, if I've got to play the song, if I've got to mix the console, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, the job's got to get done. The only way for me to get to the top is for me to do it. Uh, you know, I believe that it takes a great team. It takes music gurus. It takes all these pieces. But at the end of the day, if he can't do it, I still have to do it because, mm -hmm. you know, it's my name that's on the line. So I think kind of that keeps me grounded because the thing is I believe I'm going to be at the top and I'm not there. Yeah, so, I mean, how are you going to get yeah. big head when you're, you, you yeah, haven't accomplished you, exactly, nothing yet? You know? Exactly. So, um, as far as how do I wind down, man, you know, I know it sounds funny, but I don't. Like, I just uh, – uh, everything about me is always moving so mm -hmm. I like to have fun and that's probably the closest thing to say and wind down is I have fun on stage I have fun in radio interviews I'm always about setting the tone for the next time we meet and I'm always about making sure you remember who I am and that's fun to me it's fun to know that I'm gonna walk out the door and you're gonna be like man that cocky joker thought he could beat me in football Damn. and the next time <laughs> we come up we're gonna be tossing a football trying to see who's for real you know mm -hmm. so that's that's how I have the most fun okay all right, well, we're going to break right quick, and we're going to jump into a song. But don't worry. Keep it locked here. I got more from Clark Hill. And remember, if you missed this interview or missed part of this interview, you can catch all his music tonight. Going down in Mario's Courtyard at 1800, 6 p.m. if you don't know military time. Uh, yeah, he's going to be out there performing with his music guru, Corey, and the rest of his band. Uh, but, yeah, we're going to jump into the music right now. This is Body Moves by DNCE. You're listening to 106.3.